You want to change your skin in Minecraft 1.21.5? Let's dive into it. First things first, you're going to need to download a Minecraft skin or make a skin of your own. If you're downloading a skin or making a skin, we have links for both. If you're downloading one, it will take you here. This is the skin decks where there are hundreds of different, sorry, thousands of different Minecraft skins for you to search from. We also have a link to this, which is how to make a Minecraft skin. It goes over everything you need to know to create your own skin. If you'd rather go that route, you can also download a skin and then edit it using this guide. But basically, this is using this skin creator here. You can go in, do anything you want, all towards a customization. And like I said, once you've got a skin you like, you can actually upload that skin here and then be able to edit it, all of that. Make it your own, kind of on a base of what somebody has already done. So you would upload in the bottom right there. But we're not going to be making a skin today. We're just going to be downloading one. I'm going to download a night skin because, well... There are a ton of amazing night skins out there, so let's go ahead and find one we like here. Um, let's go ahead and do this one right here, this golden knight. Just upload it. We'll go ahead and grab it. If you get an ad pop-up, no worries. Go ahead and click the X there. And this is what this skin looks like. And once we found it, we can go ahead and click the download skin on the right-hand side. It's this little gray button. There's a lot of download buttons on this page. Those are advertisements. You want to click this gray download button on the right-hand side here. And the download will begin. It should be a PNG file. If it's not a PNG file, do not download it. Click that download button button again but for us it is a png file we can click save there and it will now download now what we want to do is go into the minecraft launcher and the minecraft launcher is where you're going to be able to manage all of your skins by going to the skins tab up here at the top and then we can see our current skin we can see all the skins in the library there's even a ton of default skins that you can choose from for example if we wanted to choose sunny there we could just go ahead and hover over them click use and there it is that skin is now selected but we want to add our own custom skin so we're going to get plus new there you can name it anything you want i'm going to name it simple game hosting why am I doing that? Well, because that's our company and the sponsor of this video. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown. .xyz .sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. That way you can show off your Minecraft skins to your friends in style. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out should you have any issues along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server. Play Minecraft with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown. .xyz .sgh. Nevertheless, we can also select our player model here, whether you want the slim model or the wide model and then we can choose our skin file this is where we're actually going to be able to go and choose the minecraft skin that we downloaded for me that's going to be in the downloads folder here we can see golden knight and we can double click on it and there it is in game you can also select a cape for example i think this would go good with the uh, the migrator cape yeah, I think that actually looks really, really good there. So now we can click save and use in the bottom right, and it will automatically activate. You can switch between skins. For example, we can go back to my old skin by hovering over it and clicking use, or go back to the night skin that we added by hovering over that and clicking use. Now if we jump in game, the skin will be active. Now with that being said, I would recommend downloading and saving that skin file we downloaded, that PNG file that we selected and keeping it somewhere safe. The reason for that is the skins that are in the Minecraft launcher aren't always going to stay there if you, for example, change computers or something like that. So I'd recommend backing it up somewhere you could access it in the future just in case for whatever reason the skins are reset in the Minecraft launcher and you can't use them. But if you don't care to lose it in the future, you don't have to do that. But now we can jump onto, of course, a simple game hosting server where once we are online, we can use F5 on our keyboard. If you don't have an F5 key on your keyboard, you probably have FN and then you could press the number 5 on your keyboard. And whenever you do that, it's going to swing around and show you your skin. Here is the knight skin that we downloaded, the golden knight in this case. But what if we wanted to switch back to our other skin? Well, it's actually really simple, right? You just close out of Minecraft and then you go back in to the Minecraft launcher where once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you go back to the skins tab. Then you could hover over the skin that you want to use. In my case, that's going to be my, my new skin here. This is the skin that I use in all the content, all that stuff. I wanted to use the simple game hosting skin. I could switch over to that one, but that's what we want. We want this one here and it looks good. If you ever wanted to delete a skin or duplicate a skin, you can do that here as well. And then now you can play Minecraft using the skin that you just selected. We can, of course, see that in game using that same method we did before. Pressing F5 on our keyboard or FN plus 5, and there we go. We are now back to the skin that kind of everyone knows me for, honestly. It's the, uh, millions of people have seen this skin, which is kind of crazy. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We will see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.